Hello, hello. So this is a summary of uh, English the American way, and uh, this is I'm gonna not gonna give the page is page forty five on my layout, my PDF. So it may not be the same page for you. Uh, we already did uh, you know this stuff you know dialogue one new friends track two track three etc. Meet uh, meet the neighbors you know the barbecue the suburbs yards. Americans value um, barking, change your mind, etc., etc. So it's very important to not neglect the the expressions and the vocabularies. But here we are talking about the kids. Uh, most of the time in America and Canada, anywhere they have their own slang, uh, they create, they make up different words on a regular basis. So those crazy kids, just for fun, we're gonna listen, and after we're gonna listen to the dialogue. Works. Those crazy kids. It's probably the same in the country you come from, but teenagers here sometimes sound like they speak a different language. Everyone uses some slang sometimes, but it seems that teenagers use their own slang all the time. You may not expect to have a conversation like the next one, but you'll probably hear one, and it's fun to know what these crazy kids are talking about. So we don't have too many, you know, uh, challenging words, teenagers, slang, you know, um, crazy kids I'm talking about. Okay, so now we can go through the dialogue, dialogue number three, track four. It's a 23 second track. Say, what's up? Nothing much. What are you up to? Nothing really. We're just chilling. Hey, you're really rocking those cool jeans. You're really styling. Thanks a bunch. They're from the mall. There's a huge sale at the cool store we really like. But hey, I can't talk now. I gotta run. Catch you later. Later, dude. So, we have it here. Uh, okay, I need to rectify some stuff here. This is a bit old. Okay, you're already signing, you're already rocking the school jeans. It's very old. Thanks a bunch. Thanks a lot. Would be better to say that. Thanks a bunch is more like a bit, I don't know. Um, thanks a bunch. It's a tiny bit old as well, you know. I would say, you know, thanks a lot. Thanks. Great. You know, most of the kids, they don't like to express too much, you know, when they are grateful to something. Um, they, they, they tend to exaggerate their emotions when they fake, they are interested in something, you know, really, you know, oh, great, you know, this kind of stuff, but most of the time kids are, I don't know, American kids are not easily um, impressed, you know, as they try to fake this stuff, which is quite interesting. So, we'll say what's up, yeah, it's very cool. You know, when we talk about teenagers, okay, let's be real, let's say, you know, 14, 15, um, and it depends on background, it depends if they're like <laughs> South Central, you know, I mean, uh, the suburb of New York or suburb of uh, rich, I don't know, Miami neighborhood, or, you know, it depends where they're from. Many kids, uh, you know, from poor neighborhoods will, you know, come up with their own slangs, their own language, which is not going to be very easy to understand. So say what's up, nothing much, what you up to? So again, everything is spoken quickly. Nothing's gonna be slowed down, okay? So that's the thing with American English. Canadians, they tend to not really speak very fast. Uh, Americans, uh, yes, we do. <laughs> so we, uh, I had this, uh, not a critic, I don't know, you never know with the Canadians. Um, at the doctor's office, the doctor told me that I was speaking too fast and I was just like, well, sorry. <laughs> I have to get used to the way I speak. Um, it's funny with the Canadians, they tend to be a tiny bit more passive aggressive. I like them, but you never know if they're real, if they tell you something and they mean it, or you know, they mean something else. So it's quite, uh, I don't know, it's quite confusing. So, any, anyway, this is, you can just forget about these two sentences. Thanks a bunch, that's a bit old. Thanks a lot. Uh, a huge sell. I can't talk now. I gotta run. I have to go, to run. I have to go later, dude. Catch you later. 
So Jude, yeah, okay, so you can use it. The thing is, um, hey, Jude, you know, I, 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 I use it when I'm frustrated. You know, it's like, come on, dude, what have you done? You know, personally, I use it when I'm frustrated. If I want to, I'm not really friendly or informal with a lot of people, so I'm not going to, if I can make, if I make fun of someone, I can say, you know, oh, dude, come on, what have you done? Or, you know, oh, you're so ridiculous, dude, see, seriously. You know, it depends on the context, but I'm not often informal, so informal, so, or casual, so it's very, very casual. Uh, you know, I'm not going to start uh, speaking uh, uh, a very uh, deep and obscure slang uh, because of my age, or you know, I I don't you know don't want to impress, or I, I don't belong to this kind of young communities, you know. So <laughs> focusing on another kind of slang, you know, uh, a more professional slang, you know, for my field. Catch you later, 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 dude. You know, see you later. You know, I can just be like that. Stay neutral. See you later. Um, you know, what's recommended, especially in America, you cannot really fake these kids. You cannot pretend to be one of them. So, you know, if you hear people, you know, they feel uncomfortable and cool using dude, man, uh, it's okay. You you can mimic. But, you know, Americans, as I said, are very uh, sensitive to this kind of stuff and they can feel when you fake and you're not really real or comfortable with uh, a different uh, the different slangs. So... It's fun to know what kids are talking about, but people who aren't teenagers sound funny using this slang. No kidding, dude. No kidding, dude. Uh, yeah, again, it depends the context. Okay. Exclamation of fun. Exclamations of fun. They don't really have a special meaning, but they add excitement to what you're saying. Here are some examples of common American expressions or exclamations. Hey, wow, yucky, yikes. Yikes. Okay. Oh, boy, man. Oh, brother. <laughs> brother that's really funny bro it's common but i'm not a guy so i'm not gonna use it uh among women we don't say sis um oh boy well you know to be honest uh in la uh they are <laughs> this is so funny uh many women are gonna say hey bitch okay uh uh it's kink <laughs> very bad words uh, it's just to, to make it very friendly, but not too friendly, you know, it's like, you know, uh, you know, I'm your friend, but not really, uh, but at the same time, I don't mean to be disrespectful, you know, it's a, it's a huge mess, uh, Americans' emotions are very messy, so here we have no kidding, no joking, you know, uh, I'm just kidding, I'm just joking, it's the same, uh, there's nothing really difficult here, crazy, dude, gotta run, What's up? What you up to? Okay. Another thing is you have to be careful of the contractions. Okay, so the styling instead of styling. In British, probably you can do this kind of stuff, but American English, no. Let's go to the next. Uh, so there are different expressions as well here. House tricks. You can just keep this stuff on the on the side. It's not really common. Where have you been hiding? Uh, you know, where have you been? In a sense of, you know, I've no, no long time no see. I haven't seen you in a while. So, hey, well, what's up? Uh, what's up with you? What, uh, what are you up to? Okay. Welcome with open arms. Be very happy to see someone, you know, but you're not going to see it. Or you can just say, hey, I'll, I'll welcome your friend with open arms, you know, because I've seen your friend for a long time. Or, you know, if the kids are in college and they come back to visit their parents, you know, their parents can be welcoming them with open arms to be tied up to be busy uh, or to be attached to something as well not in an emotional way but physical way what's happening what's new it's good to see you marcus what's happening so what you're up to again we have different options here getting around you need to this way riding the bus and it's a 49 second out of five riding the bus no car? No problem. There are plenty of ways to get around. Most cities and towns have an efficient mass transit system. That is, they have buses or trains to get you where you need to go. Often, 
you may need to take a bus to the train station. Sometimes it can be complicated to figure out which bus or train will take you where, but there is help. Most cities have a special department just to provide that information. You can call the transit company to ask. When you call the company, you will need to tell them where you are and where you need to go. You can also ask if you need exact change for the bus. Drivers usually can't accept cash. So, well, it's okay, but you know, we buy the pass or the ticket before uh, getting in uh, the subway, the train, or the, the metro, or the tram, whatever, okay? So now also, uh, Uber is quite common, so you don't have to have any cash on you. You can just buy the stuff with your application, end of the story, okay? So here, concerning the vocabulary efficient, okay, that works, uh, mass transit system, okay, complicated to provide to, to give, Okay. You don't have to call, you use an application, you go to the website, you can get uh, the different uh, directions and you can see the different lines you can use, etc, etc, etc. So everything is um, simplified, it's uh, more efficient and we don't have to call anybody. Okay. So here, checking, sorry about that, the vocabulary. Okay. Drivers usually can't accept cash, yeah, well, uh, it's better, don't want to carry a bunch of cash, and I'm going to tell you something, in America sometimes uh, the, the, the bus drivers, they can be uh, robbed, okay, or mugged, so they, they shouldn't carry any cash on them. Dialogue number one, track, uh, track five, the 47 audio file and it's a dialogue between the transit office and the commuter, the traveler, the guy who's gonna travel from his uh, office to 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 home, or home to office, vice versa. It's a phone call, so I'm saying you know it's archaic, we don't really call anymore, but you know it's just imagine a scenario like this. Let's play it. Good afternoon, Unionville Transit System. This is Stanley speaking. Hi, I need some travel information. I need to go to 52nd Street and Broadway. I live on 8th Street near 5th Avenue. Well, you can take the B12 bus to Mercer Street. Then you'll have to catch the B9. You can take the subway too. I live near a bus stop, so I prefer to take the bus. What time does it come? The buses run about every 15 minutes. Bus schedules are posted at the bus stop. You can also check our website. How much does it cost? You'll need $2 and change. The driver won't take dollar bills, and he won't give you change. Make sure you have exact change. Okay. Thanks for the help. Have a good day. Okay. So, good conversation, no problems, no complaints. So, here we have, this is standard speaking, just in case you're on the phone and you need to answer somebody's uh, phone call. So you can just introduce your name like that. Um, how can I help you? Uh, how may I help you? Etc. So it's quite common. Uh, so this person, she's a woman. She needs to travel. Uh, she needs to go to 52 Second Street and Broadway. So... The, the, the streets, American streets, are quite easy, okay? It's quite squarish, rectangular, uh, it's predictable, it's not like narrow streets in England or in Europe. It's predictable. In Canada, to a certain extent, you have the same. Uh, so to catch the bus, to, to, to take the bus and to catch it, uh, you can take the subway too, okay? Bus stop, take the bus, etc. Uh, exact change, okay? Meaning like, coins, you know, uh, money, money, so little money, small money, petty, petty cash. Um, okay, so most bus systems offer a transfer. If you need to take more than one bus to, to get somewhere, you can get a free transfer to the second bus or train. Ask the driver. So the most of the time the bus uh, ticket or the train ticket or the subway ticket is valid for uh, an hour or so. Many companies have an 800 uh, number, which is free. So I, 
800 number is in a telephone number that will not be charged on the phone bill. Hey, we like free phone calls. So the commuter is a, someone who travels to and from work on the bus, train or by car. It depends where you are. What's com most common is by bus or subway or by train sometimes. And if you live in New York or in LA, you know, many people will take the, the car in LA, in LA. Many people will take the subway in New York, you know. So it depends how you commute. Uh, I would say, yeah, in some places it's not really recommended to take your car because it's too crowded, too too much traffic, and, well, you're going to spend a fortune on gasoline. Uh, commuter, complicated, efficient, exact change. Well, the, you know, the number of coins, correct number of coins, the mass transit to transportation system provided by a city, provide to give, run, come, or on schedule, subway, an underground train system, and take, catch a bus or train, get on a bus or train, okay? And here, this is funny because when we say buses, it sounds like we have two S, but it's not the correct spelling. So even though it looks funny when you write it, the word buses is pronounced buses. In fact, some people spell it with two S, just like it's pronounced. Something in English, a word, some, sometimes, sorry, sometimes in English a word may have two correct but different spellings or pronunciations. I tend to choose, you know, I don't like this kind of uh, spelling. Uh, I don't write as I talk, like I talk. Have to sounds like have to, have to in spoken English. So I have to go, I have to go, okay? So don't exaggerate the pronunciation. You'll see after a while you're going to pronounce it as have to, have to. Have to, not have to, have to, have to go, I have to go. Grammar, not complex, nothing really too complex because it's all about uh, the present tense and some contractions. Um, and going underground, so we'll go through this stuff uh, the next time. I believe we did that, I'm just making sure. In some cities like New York City, you can buy a fun pass. This is a special fare that you can use all day. It usually costs about the same as two trips, but you can use it as many times as you like. It's a real bargain. Okay, it's cheap. So we'll go through this, the underground, the hop on, etc. And also the taxi. So we can have two additional dialogues for the next time. It's not a big book. You go uh, through the book very, very quickly, fairly quickly. Um, let me know if you have any questions concerning uh, this uh, this book and uh, the different dialogues and the different vocabulary. There's, again, there's nothing complex. It's intentional. That that's where you can retain uh, the the information quickly, easily, efficiently. You have a beautiful night, and I'll talk to you later. Take care.